Hiya all, it's Neil from Tax TV. Here we go, after match thoughts. Normally I'd do a, a player rating, uh, but looking on that performance yesterday, I don't know, you know, apart from probably Anderson, Elick can take some bit, bit of credit out of, you know, not average team performance, defended well, but quite a few uh, fans have sent me messages who went to the game and obviously after match and you know they've watched it back. So I'm gonna give a give a bit of a shout out and the names dropped of people plus my tech and then what players come out on uh, Radio Sheffield as well. That's baffling substitutions. Baffling. Uh, but we'll get back there to that in a minute. Uh, if you haven't already done so please like, subscribe and share. Um, get your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what, what your te uh, take on it is. But I've been doing an interview with Glenn from uh, commentary side, and then obviously Craig. Yeah, we haven't won beer for like 90 odd years, but what we're playing for is what we're we actually playing for a win or playing for a, a draw. And then when you hear players' comments after the game, I kept repeating about being dominant and we're, not, we're never going to dominate a game, and we're never going to ever dominate a game but we at least want some shots on, on goal you don't have to be dominant for that you can create chances without being uh, not dominant for 90 minutes I don't think no team is dominant for 90 minutes regardless if you're you know best league in the world you're not going to dominate for 90 minutes you're going to have pockets of uh, opportunities and you know their goalkeeper didn't even get mucky by you know diving football so going to go to Mick Tomo <clears throat> messaged me yesterday he says, um, only team in EFL, we are an away win. You know, our, our damage that. Only team in EFL, we are an away win. Need to change manager. Do, you know, does player need to go now? Does he, does he need to go now? What, you know, what, after so much choices, what we made yesterday, and so much comments, what, I just can't get me around it whatsoever. It just seems to be like in denial, and it just seems to be backing up about defensive side. You know, defend, 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 and you've got to score goals to win games, mate. You know, all bounds fans can see that, or any football fan can see that. Uh, that's why the lowest uh, scorers in the uh, league as well. You know, that, that, it says it all, doesn't it? It says it all. Uh, broken, all club, uh, broken club records, you know, games, uh, you know, the longest uh, streak since 1953, I think it was, under steel. It's we need to change. It, it, there's no, there's no happening. No positive. That from Mick Tomo. He had up and Watched it. Wish I didn't bother. Never seen him. He's putting such an inapt performance for a one-nil defeat. Do we actually try? What were we actually going to play for a win or were we sitting stall to go for a draw? And take a point when, when it's wins we need. Bounds FC fan, no idea what plan was. These are from fans, you know, no idea what plan was. What well, we interested in going forward? We didn't seem interested in going forward. Just seemed to play out for a nil nil. Just seemed to play out for a draw. And these are fans I could go through loads and loads. I've got loads of neighbors that want to take it up about all that, but it's all alluding to the same stuff. All loaded to the same stuff. Again, team lineup, yeah, Bassi were gonna be, you know, out with new styles played, which we didn't uh, think he were gonna make it. But obviously he did. But then you look and how we set up and to be fair for staff, it would even Stephen, I think we'll cancel one another out, in my opinion. You might agree, disagree. But I thought it was like pretty, pretty even. Some said it was a bit of a snow's fest. Some said it was boring. And but at the end of the day, you look at Coventry; they're not on a, a massive, you know, win streak or out very inconsistent. When you look at the form, whereas we didn't really be knock, you know, knocking on door kind of thing to really take it to them. It's scuff at neck. And I think it was like more of a cancellation job. It's similar, similar, I say similar formation. <clears throat> you know, three at back. Uh, one up front, two behind, and then midfield, it more or less 
match for match, evenish. Um, so I think first half, yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty even, Stevens. And the second half, it was just like we're not there, we're no, what I was watching, we're no agency, we're no pressing, we're closing down, what one on of that. It, it was such a uh, I would say a bizarre performance, but well, it's not bizarre. It's like the, perform- the old performance that you'd think, right? We, we, and it goes back to when we won against Derby and the following game against Hull. You know, to, you know, build on it. So we won against QPR, and we didn't really build on it. We didn't press for it. Substitutions. I think me all can. I think there's been plenty being said in you know papers and social media already about it why the hell bring on change formation and stuff like that and you you probably have to on about oh yeah it's balance at side and balance at this we're bringing on Moon because he does long throws and but he made a mistake yet again and people said don't be picking on Jasper Moon I'm not picking on Jasper Moon but you know, the lad is not championship. Lad is not championship standard. Not championship standard. And the, the sooner the, the head coach, manager and people like that wake up and smell coffee. We're saying this, you know, it's not a new thing. We've been saying this for months, months and months now, about money should have been loaned out. You know, you get, you get your civic go for whatever reason. And we we seem we seem to be so persistent about playing Jasper Morning, but one year probably after it's like, yeah, it's down you know, it's down as a team to get behind him and it's all but it's down as you as a manager, mate, to understand you're not putting him in a situation like that where he's after his depth. So don't be trying to pass a book on to players and he understands what he's done and it's down to the players to pick him up and move here for him. You as a manager you should be picking up on this and and not be putting him in a deep end at his depth. Even if we come away with an out of peace, it was one point. But you look at you look at the situation where we are now. We're, we're as good as Dan. We're as good as Dan. And people say, yeah, but we're still points to play for. But can you tell me we you know when's his where's his next win gonna come from with QPR? When's his next one we're gonna come from? And I've been saying this time and time and time again. We have a win and then it boosts a bit of confidence. Yeah. But then where's 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 next, where, next thing we're gonna come from just to be in contention? Look at the gap now. Look at the gap now. Worrying stuff, and then you got Poy coming out on radio saying stuff. Yeah, but, uh it, it were good it was a good defensive side, it were you know, we played well against, we're not gonna dominate and you're not going to keep dominating times against common uh, pressing. Nobody said about dominating. No one said about dominating. But what we do want to see is a bit of pressing down, a bit of commitment, you know, a bit of urgency. Let's create some chances. But it's too focused about defend, 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 defend. That's going to get you the point. You need to be, you need to be on final third. You need to be on final third. But it seems to be avoid that. We concentrate that we picked up a good point against Coventry. You know, we picked up a good point after 90 minutes. We picked up a good point. Goals win your matches. Goals win your matches. Then Coventry are not going to be going away saying, oh, yeah, we're, you know, we're putting the lives on blocking us up. They're going to come away and say, right, we've won 1 0. Yeah, we've had zero. <laughs> Zero shots on goal. Zero shots on goal. And it's is it's saying similar things what he at what he said in FA Cup against Huddersfield. You don't have to create, you know, goalkeeper under pressure. Yeah, you do have to put goalkeeper under pressure. That's how you create chances, mate. That's how you score goals. That's what wins your games. If they score one, we need to score two. You can't just sit for a, a draw. You can't urgency. On the mark. Why the hell he's not getting a game? I don't know. Why the hell he's not getting a game? I don't know. I don't know. It baffles me. It, it frustrates me. It frustrates me. 
yet again we we, we change we, we taking Britain off Mo's coming on and we change it formation we we going too deep we're going too defensive we're inviting pressure on and that says it all if anybody saw that we Carlton Morris at end it game let me know in your comments if anybody saw what Carlton Morris did to um Elik when final whistle went after nine minutes of extra time well injury time sorry if anybody saw that that's a player what understands what it means if anybody saw that you watch you watch what uh Morris did and if you don't know leave your comment I, I I I saw it I saw it and he's frustrated and we're getting told to get you know calm down yeah and you know Elliot knew Elliot knew straight away what he were on about so frustrating but players like players on pitch can see what's happening yeah a manager a coach or what you want to call them uh coming out trying to defend and yeah you know i don't i i, I just don't understand why you know Izaka, Izaka, but you know you look at his attacking option on bench devante cole you know what what uh, frustrating down um like i said you know, defence what did what we had to do. And, you know, Anderson, Elick, Styles played big parts in and out. But again, no support up front. No support up front. And keep going back to it's like head coach managers in denial. You know, got he got pressed on questions about are you going to get. You know, there's going to be many changes to all game. Oh, yeah, well, we might because, you know, we're tired and uh, we need to assess it and we need to go for a win. We should be going for a win in every game, though, mate, to be fair. And what I saw and what I watched, and like I say, what what I, what I watched, it was, where, where's, the, where's the agency? You talk it, you know, you try and talk it good, but action is louder than words, isn't it, at the end of the day? And I feel for players. I feel for players. I feel for such as you, Morris, because he's frustrated as hell. Him, he's frustrated as hell. Him. Like I said when he after my final whistle went, he knew he knew what he was doing and what he was alluding to. And then, like I said, he keep coming out with certain statements and stuff and press. But look at league table, and if you haven't heard, or if you want to hear, um, I think it might be on podcast of. On football eleven, if you hear podcast or what he is, uh, what he what he was trying to answer. It, it, well, I think you were watching a different game on about dominating. You know, we can't dominate for ninety minutes, and nobody nobody should about to dominate, mate. We just ask you to be a bit of fate, a bit of passion, a bit of agency. You know, not to set up what I what I could see anyway. Setting up for, you know. A good defensive performance. It's not going to win your games, is it? Not when you win your games when you've got other teams around you winning. You know, yeah, we won against QPR and we're all up for it and we get a bit of belief, a bit of hope, a bit of hope over here. No midweek game. It should be a bit fresher going into a game. Yeah, fair enough. Obviously, not one of the uh, sides that we've got a great record against at their place. But at least have a go. At least. Have an effort with conditions. We need to even do that. We need to even do that with no set pieces. It's, uh, baffling stuff. But what's new? It's Barnes in it. And like I say, Coventry City, Barnes, did we play for a draw? Leave your comments below. You know, please leave your, your thoughts below. What do you all think? You know, them, you know, fans that travel down, that's off to you. Not great conditions. You know, it were, uh, but, you know, we still went down. You know, with a bit of belief, a bit of hope. Unfortunately, it uh, won't want to be. And it would have been interesting to see if we, if we would have come away with a nil-nil. Would player has still been trying to play it up and talk it up and oh, it were a good point, you know, it were a good 
a good point against the Coventry side who was up there and but points aren't gonna you know, one point's not gonna make a massive difference, is it? You look at Peterborough, you look at Derby, look at Derby. You know, the, I just, you know, it's don't know what to say. To be fair, I'm down, deflated. It's hurts to see what's happening with the club. And like I said messages all the way through the evening from fans, and I could have read out an actual A4 load full. And the vast majority are all, are all going to allude the same thing. Obviously, I've got others like saying, you know, barred out, Conway out, and things like that, but. Looking at that performance, this is about the manager and Arthur's debt for. And for me, should he go? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think he should go. I think he should go because he's not going to make any difference. Look, just get Joel Alman. But then there'll be a get out. You know, there'll be some kind of probably payoff package. So probably some kind of payoff package. We'll not want to do. We'll not want to bring any managing from outside. side. I'm not gonna, you know, admit defeat or not like that. For me, I get Joe Lauman and Devaney or whoever whoever's there. Someone mentioned bring Murray back. Is you know, is hard to work. Bring Murray back. Um people are not bothered about Ishmael. Ishmael don't think he'd come back. But people saying bring bring Murray back. You know, players, you know what to get out of them. I just want I just want some kind of agency in club. I just want something to I, I just want reactions. I want reactions and I don't want to be like people just saying stuff like in press like he has been. And it's it's blatantly obvious what the problems are, but for some reason he don't want to address it or he don't want to come out and say it. Yeah, you're not going to come out and slay a player. Or I like to think that you're not going to come out and it individually slay a player. But surely you can't be putting them players in week in, week out, hoping they're going to come good when they're, they're out of the depth. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's not a an happy after match for, but there's no point, you know, saying something where it's not. For me, man, a match for Barnsley, you know, I'd probably give Alec Anderson. I'm going to go set Alec, mainly for trying to block some, putting his body online and. Because we're at times we're getting bombarded, we're getting a bit peppered a bit. Uh, Elick, I'm going to get Elick uh, for me, my my man at match. Again, leave your comments and thoughts below. Uh, you might think it Vita, he had a, a bit of a game up and down wing. Again, it was more defence, wasn't it? Carlton Morris looked frustrated. And what he did at end at game, I'm thinking, yeah, that's where a lot of fans have thinking or saying and thinking you are into into that frustrations galore frustrations galore but Poya said well all teams got round moon and you know they'll make him aware and you know the responsibility I'm thinking but you are the manager you are the coach you shouldn't be putting him in that position at this place so don't be trying to deflect it off off your set and put it on someone else it's not fair to lad, and obviously it wasn't fair to team yesterday. Making a mistake like that, and it's cost cost us. You know, cost, yeah, it might be a point, but it still cost them lads via what's good ninety minutes, uh, constantly blocking and defending, and it's cost them. And that's why you got Morris so frustrated as he is because he knew what had happened, and it, you know he'd been running about pitch for ninety minutes. Trying his hardest, but again, no help and no support. Again, that addresses down to what they're working on in training. And it all just comes back around full circle to head coach and everybody, everybody, everybody. Head coach and people like that, out of the depth, all about defence, final third, and it's where we go. So, yeah, we'll be doing a, a, an old, old city preview. I uh, hope to get someone on because it's Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday game. So I'm hoping to get someone on. Um, unfortunately, it's not an happy one, but I had to call it out for what it is. 
thanks for watching, taking your time out. Have a good day, good weekend. Uh, catch you all soon. One thing left to say, you Reds. Thank <laughs> you.